Yo, what's good, YouTube? I'm GS Fear, and I'm dedicated to bringing you the best possible stream tips, tricks, and new tutorials to help you enhance your stream and take it to the next level. And if this video helps you out, consider hitting that subscribe button, that notification, that ding ding, so you get notified every single time I post a video for you guys to watch and help out. So, this video we're going to be talking about moderators and why and how I pick the ones that I do. So, stick around. So before we can pick a moderator, we have to basically go into the roles and what they are basically expected to do on your Twitch channel. So they can set the chat into sub only mode. If you get a big raid that is just trolling or just spamming a ton of, or you can change it into follow only mode. If you get a troll raid or something to that extent, or you can change it to slow mode as a moderator, which can help if you have a large channel or even a, a small channel, but you have a lot of spammers in it. You can also add blocked terms like the cuss words that you're not wanting into your chat or any emotes that you might possibly not want to be put into your chat. They can also approve of your redeems on your channel points. They can shout people out if you have a command there's a ton of stuff that they can do but you don't want to pick the wrong person to give that power adding that power into the wrong hands will absolutely bring your twitch channel down i promise you this so please heed these words and pick and choose wisely let's get into why and how we choose on my channel now one of the biggest mistakes I see people do when they are starting out is they see that somebody is donating money to them and they're just like oh I have to make you VIP I have to make you a moderator well a lot of twitch channels kind of lose their momentum or their growth when you get a bad moderator that just gets added to that moderator role because they donated a lot of money financially to you and it's just a very bad tactic because it will encourage other people to think, oh, well, if I donate a lot of money to this streamer, I will get that same role too. And while it might work out for some people, there are a ton of people that it just does not work out for in the end. So do not pick your moderator based on how much money they are donating to you financially. So when choosing your moderator, if you are a PG streamer, you want to make sure that your moderator is able to be a PG moderator and not curse, not say inappropriate things, but also not tolerate those inappropriate things that could happen in your chat at some time. So make sure that they are blocking those swear words, make sure that they aren't allowing that crude humor. If you are more of that PG streamer, even if you are not a PG streamer and you are an 18 plus streamer, make sure that you have your boundaries set and talk to your moderators about what words are okay and what words are not okay. Because every streamer is different, so moderating for one person could be completely different from moderating for another person. So just keep that in mind when you are choosing a moderator as a PG or a 18 plus streamer to make sure that they are able to handle that and keep up with what you want and not want done and said in your channel. So another credential I use when I pick my moderators for Twitch is that I make sure that the person is in my community and is also very active in the community you don't want an inactive moderator that does you no good now i understand people have lives people have problems people have stuff that they would rather do summertime happens so people can't always be there to your stream but you want to pick people that are going to be there for you on your stream if something like a troll raid happens if something like a troll donation happens or something trolly or anything in general that you don't personally like so that they can shut that down real quick that is basically their role among others to moderate for you so when picking a moderator on twitch you want to make sure that you and your twitch moderators have an active communication whether it is in twitch dms 
whether it's on Twitter, whether it's in Discord, so that you and the moderators can basically tell each other if you are having an issue, if you're having an issue with the viewer, if they are tiptoeing the line, if you need to, you know, take steps to either time that person out or if you should reward that viewer if they were doing something very, very good in the community and basically show, you know, a spotlight on them, essentially. So it's not all negative with it, but it can also be positive. So this kind of goes hand in hand with what we were just talking about, which was the communication. You also want to be able to communicate to them if you want something certain to happen when you get a raid, such as a shout out, which I love shouting out to people that raid me because I feel like it helps spread my community out to other communities. And it also shows their communities that, hey, this guy's shouting out this guy. He, he appreciates this guy. So I've got to follow him. Also reward your moderators as much as you possibly can because they are helping you out. They don't really get anything out of this unless you pay them, which I'm not telling you to pay them, but I'm just telling you, maybe offer them a gifted sub. Maybe if they're a streamer as well, sub to them if possible. Show appreciation to them. Give back in ways that you can to them. It will make them want to do more for you because you're supporting them just like they're supporting you. And last but not least, this should go without saying, but make sure you pick a moderator that shares the same values and morals as you do. You don't want a moderator that's just a complete D-bag. You want somebody that is caring, that can also not take any crap from anybody that is going to do it other than, you know, the mild trolling here and there. But you want to make sure that the person that you choose in that moderator role, in that second in command, that front line of your Twitch stream has the same morals and values and guidance as you do. Thank you so, so much for watching. I do appreciate every single view, every single one of you guys that watched. And if you enjoyed this video, if it helps you out, leave a like, leave a comment telling me that it helped you out, what you wanna see next. And if you are a brand new viewer to the channel and you enjoy this, if you wanna see some more tips, tricks, and them tutorials, hit that subscribe button. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.